CHQ, short for Clan HQ. This is where your journey begins with a chat app that's built specifically with gamers in mind and their games in mind. So let's get started on some basics. When you first open the app, you'll be greeted with a sign-in screen, which doubles as a way to join if you haven't already. So let's go with sign up. As you can see, it asks you for your email and password, pretty standard stuff. Now, as soon as you've done this, it brings you right into the meat of your profile. First things first, let's get a good pick. This is optional, of course, but it adds a nice piece of flair to the mix. I mean, with a mug like this, you gotta put it on display. Next up, you're going to give yourself a username. If you've come from the Line app, you can put your Line ID there as well in the event you'd like people to be able to find you on both apps. But this is optional. And then just add a brief little ditty about yourself. Of course, that is optional as well. Now, let's get to the cool part. With over 75 games supported, you can now pick which game it is that you play. In this example, I'm playing Marvel Contest of Champions. And as you can see, once I add a game, it starts asking me for specific information regarding that game. So I'll pop in my player name and just add the game into my profile. So check this out. CHQ is not only asking for game information, but it's tuned to that game and has the language that you'd recognize from playing it. So let me fill in this info and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're ready. I can finish up here or I can add another game. Now let's hit up another game. How about Dragon Ball Legends? Again, as you can see, there are very specific elements here and game specific language. And this goes for all the games that they have listed here and they are always adding new games. And there's a list of supported games that have their own integration so they can pull that info in automatically. But more on that in a future video. Now, depending on if you're a new user or a past user coming back, you can see your options to join a clan, find a clan, see some of your past chats, or find some new ones. Now, once you're in your standard view, if you tap the icon on the top left, you'll get to your profile. Here, you can add new games as well as get into the details of the games that you already have in the app. Each game you play will be listed here as well as what their badges look like. More on this later. Now, if you click on the settings button, you'll see a notification that your account isn't verified. This is also some pretty standard stuff. So pop into your email client, click on that link to verify and done. Now let's take a look at some chat basics. I'm in my main account here. And as you can see in the chats right away, you have badges that clearly let you know what each chat is about. Also right out of the box, you have all these categories up at the top where you can look at all of your chats or you can look at your chats based on clan or you can see all your group chats, DMs, CHQ centered and favorites. So in this example, let's take a look at a DM. There's both sticker support and gift support through Giphy as well as the standard stuff of adding an image from your own photo library. Now, if you want to call a specific member out, you can tap the at button and get a quick list to get right to it. One of my favorite features here is the read receipt list because not only does it show you how many people have seen it, but who has seen it as well. For those of you in alliances and clans where accountability is key, this is a huge help, especially to leadership. And as you can see, no matter where I am in my scrolling, I always have the jump bar down on the bottom to get back to the newest message. Now I can check in on a user's profile. You can see their login streak and options to send them a message or invite them to your clan, among other things. Now when it comes to notifications, this can be a bear, especially if you're part of multiple chats, groups, and clans. You have the freedom to jump in and handle your notifications globally. You can receive all, ones that notify if you're called out, or not to receive them at all. You can even go in and mute notifications for a set amount of time if you wish not to permanently turn off your notifications. Once you've set your global settings, you can override them by setting up chat-specific notifications in the event you want to give priority to a particular chat over your global setting. And pretty much you have the same options here as you had in global, but it's now for this chat. Pretty cool, huh? So everyone, this was a quick overview of some of the basics of Clan HQ. I hope you enjoyed the video and keep an eye out for more vids on notifications and clan recruitment tools coming soon.